Hi guys, welcome to my video. So I've just taken delivery of this Analog Pocket Limited Glow in the Dark Edition, um, taken from the concept of the original Game Boy Pocket that was a limited release in Japan. So this is the Glow in the Dark version that Analog have brought out to sort of commemorate that. I'm going to do open it up now, live on camera. So uh, let's get unboxing and see what it's all about. So typical analog packaging, very simple and basic, but yet effective. Here comes the review. Wow, look at that green. That is outstanding. Just get that shot there. Awesome. So yeah, for those of you who are not familiar with the analog pocket, this is an FPGA console. Um, essentially it emulates consoles via hardware instead of software. So this is ultimately the best way to play your retro games. Uh, there's nothing really out on the market, I would say, at the moment that can emulate better than this. As it's hardware emulation, it's pretty much a, a carbon copy, I would suggest, you know, in terms of describing it, as, um, as the retro consoles themselves. When you put a game in this, the game is literally thinking it is playing on the console that it should be playing on. Um, for that, you get picture-perfect gameplay, no latency, or hardly any latency, it's very, very fast. Um, as good as what you would have had on the original console, basically. So, let's take it out of this box, have a good, quick look. I will be honest, this is not the first analog pocket I've got. I've also got another one, so this one's going to be more of a shelf queen. Something that I'll keep on display with my other Game Boys. I've got a few rare Game Boys. Um, and I think this fits in quite well with my collection, personally. I love the whole uh, experience that you get with this console. I've got a daily driver analog pocket, which is this black one here so uh yeah obviously this one's not as fresh out of the box it's got a screen protector on it um that i got from analog at the time and i've also got the dock as well that i play it on um uh, mostly on the dock as well actually i prefer playing it on the dock but um yeah we can turn this one on now i'm sure we can run a cartridge off it and i'll quickly show you just what it's all about and maybe we'll be able to see that glow effect as well if we're lucky enough if it gets enough charge so let's turn it on so power buttons on the side First boot up. I'm sure I'm going to have to quickly flick through this and set it up quickly. Oh, no, we can skip tutorial. There we are. Let's get to the bottom of that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, we'll update it soon. Cool. Right, well, I've got a cartridge with me. So the screen on these portable games consoles are absolutely phenomenal. To give you an idea on the quality of the screen, it's uh, 615 pixels per inch, which is really, really high, like super high. You can you won't be able to visibly see these pixels individually. Obviously, you will on the games because they're quite old and they're very pixelated these days. But when you have that on such a high quality display, there's no better way of displaying these games, in my opinion. The um, and To give you an example, I've got an S23 Ultra made by Samsung. That's got a Quad HD display, so same... A 2K resolution, I think you would describe it as, and that's only 550 pixels per inch. So this is higher than my top-of-the-range smartphone, or flagship smartphone that's you know, probably one of the best smartphones you can get at the moment. So that gives you an idea on just how good the screen is on this. Obviously, my camera probably doesn't do it justice. So just to let you know what we've got playing, we've got an authentic version of Pokemon Emerald. One that I've recently started playing. So hopefully you can see that. If we press the analog button, we've got a few options there as well. I'll go through those probably on another video. This is just a brief run through. I believe if you press the analog button and the left and right arrow, you can change the effect. So this gives you a more authentic effect, giving you um, what you would have probably seen or close, a closer image to what you would have experienced on an original Game Boy Advanced SP. Uh, which is, and that's an SP101, which is not the Game Boy Advance with the IPS display. And that's the analog version, which is what I generally play on most of the time. Cool. So yeah, there it is, playing it as it would have been played on the Game Boy itself. And there we are. Gotta love a Pokemon game. But anyway, I'm not here to play that. Might get too stuck in there. So, that's the Analog Pocket. Just a quick, brief video. 
Um, would really high, highly recommend getting one. As I said, I got the black one as my daily driver, but uh, this one is going to be in my collection with the rest of my uh, products. Probably not played that often because I imagine with this being limited edition, it will probably go up in value, especially if I look after it. So let's look what that glow effect looks like. It's night time at the moment here in the UK. Uh, I'm going to use an ultraviolet torch, if it works, there it goes. I'm going to give it some charge. You'll probably be able to see the areas that I'm highlighting once the lights go off. So let's turn light one off, and then light two. There we are. And I'm just going to do light three now, stay there. So it's absolutely pitch dark where I am now. And you can see that area there where I charged it up. If I put the UV light on and take it away, you'll see the back of the console still hasn't charged. According to analog, this will last eight hours glowing, which uh, I can believe. There we are. Awesome. Really, really cool. Thank you, analog. All the best, guys. Bye bye.